Hello everyone, myself Pritish Kumar and I am from Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. My teammates are Sunil Kumar and Suresh Kumar. And our project is guided by Mr. G. Vishnu Vardhan Rao, Assistant Professor, ECE. Our final year project is High Speed and Low Power Modified Dynamic Double Tile Comparator with Adiabatic Logic Circuit Design on 90 nanometer Technology using Cadence 2. Let's get into the objective. To design high speed and low power modified dynamic double tile comparator with adiabatic logic on a 90 nanometer technology using Cadence 2. The main objective for this project is to increase the speed of the circuit design and to reduce the power consumption and delay. Let's get into the abstract. The comparators are the main components that are used in an high speed applications such as unlocked digital converters which require high speed and low power. The demand for high speed and low power comparators with less delay and power is keep on increasing day by day. And the use of conventional comparator and dynamic double tail comparator are not much in helpful in to reduce the power and delay for faster operations. Let's get into the literature review. The author name is Vaishnavi Jamunde, Professor Amal Book. Let's get into the block diagram. Here two input voltages Vp and Vn are implemented into a preamplifier and the output obtained are Q and Q bar. The main components used in here is a preamplifier, a regenerative latch and an output buffer. At the preamplifier stage, the design is simple common source differential connected with active loads and a regenerative latch in the regenerative latch acts as an inverter circuits which are connected in back to back configurations and output buffer. The main component in our comparative design is output buffer or post amplifier. Its main is to convert the output of the de decision circuit into a logical signal. A dynamic logical concept. All dynamic logic we will look at it is clocked. In one phase of the clock we will precharge the gate to either 0 or 1. In another phase we will evaluate whether the gate's output should stay at the precharged value or change. So this is the existing work. A dynamic double tail comparator circuit is designed for low power and faster operations. And the drawbacks is the disadvantages of using the dynamic double tail comparator is having more static power consumption. It can use more power and less speed. This is the existing diagram. And this is the proposed work. A modified dynamic double tail comparator with adiabatic logic is designed to overcome the drawbacks of a double tail comparator. Two switching transistors have been added and an extra additional circuitry of adiabatic logic which is a low power circuit is applied to the supply. This is adiabatic logic. Adiabatic logic circuit is a low power circuit which use reversible logic to conserve the energy. Never turn on a transistor when there is voltage potential between the source and the drain and never turn off a transistor when the current is flowing through it. The delay is reduced significantly even in the small power voltage. This is the existing design. And this is the proposed design. This is the existing output. And this is the proposed output. Let's get into the tabulation. The parameters used here are technology CMOS, supply voltage, maximum sampling frequency, delay, and average power. For a dynamic double tail comparator, it's 90 nanometer, and for a modified dynamic double tail comparator, it's same 90 nanometer. Here the supply voltage is also the same, a 1 volt each, and a maximum sampling frequency is also the same. 50 which is 500 megahertz and a delay is 
550 picoseconds for dynamic double tail comparator and 410 picoseconds for modified dynamic double tail comparator and the average power is 320 and for modified dynamic double tail comparator it's 152. Let's see into the parameter analysis of modified double tail comparator at different frequencies. Here the supply voltage supplied is 0.8 volts for all the four categories. But the, there is change in frequency for different voltages supplied. And we can get a delay and power in differences. These are the future en en enhancements, layout and fabrication, testing of test chip. In layout and fabrication, the schematics could be designed into a layout and further fabricated to real chip for several purposes. And in testing of a test chip, the test chip also after fabrication can be tested and it can be stimulated with real hardware, where functionality of the test chip can be tested after fabrication. And these are the references. The output part will be continued by my friend Sunil Kumar. Now we can see the existing simulation of this project. By simulating this uh, existing design, we can get an output waveform as shown here. And now we are going to design a proposal design for this project by using adiabatic logic and two switching circuits. And this is the proposal design of this project. And I am going to launch the ADL and I am going to set the stop time of this proposal design to get an output waveform. And I am going to set the input and output from this circuit. By adding both adiabatic logic circuit and two switching circuits, we can get an waveform to the proposed design of this project. And this is the waveform of the proposed design project. Thank you.